Off the top tonight, we begin with breaking news. Pioneering journalist Barbara Walters has died at the age of 93. She broke barriers early on in her broadcasting career, and as Rena Roy shows us, created a lasting legacy at ABC News. Barbara Walters, trailblazing broadcast journalist, was known for interviewing the major newsmakers and stars of our time in a news career spanning more than 50 years. Do you feel funny crossing the Bay of Pigs with an American? Starting her career as a writer and producer on NBC's Today Show in the early 1960s, Walters went on to become the co-host in 1974. Good morning, I'm Frank McGee and Barbara Walters is here. Becoming the first woman to co-anchor a network morning broadcast. Take three, cue Barbara. Good evening. After moving to ABC News, Walters became the first woman to co-host a network evening broadcast on the ABC Evening News in 1976. Thank you, Harry. Over her career, Walter sat down with world leaders and Hollywood stars. There's you would drive to... me nuts and I would drive you crazy because I would be saying, but you know, but didn't you or haven't you or haven't you? Yeah. Well, we could try it and see if it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll stop and reload. <laughs> Interviewing every president and first lady from Richard Nixon on. Are you sorry you didn't burn the tapes? Yes. Does it bother you today when people say Ronald Reagan is the president of the rich? How important is it for the president to be a role model? Was it worth it if there were no weapons of mass destruction? Why are you so unpopular? From 1979 to 2004, Walters was the co-host and a producer of ABC's 2020. And in 1997, she created and co-hosted the daytime talk show, The View, retiring in 2014. This is my legacy. I look forward to, to not having a schedule. In her personal life, Walters was married more than once and is survived by her adopted daughter, Jackie. I look back and I think I wish I had been with her more. I was so busy with a career. I wish I had spent more time with my Jackie. The woman who spent her career probing others asked how she'd like to be remembered herself. I want to be remembered by my daughter as a good and loving mother. I want to be remembered by my friends as somebody who was loyal. I want to be remembered in television, maybe as a creator. Um, Maybe as a good newswoman. No, more than being remembered, I hope that by younger women, I can help them aspire. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Mm. And everything she wanted to be remembered by, she I mean, be. my and being goodness. the first woman to co host to anchor, she just paved the way for so many other women mm -hmm. and so many other journalists to think, hey, I can do it too. Yeah, I grew up watching Barbara Walters. I remember one iconic interview with Katherine Hepburn, and she asked Katherine Hepburn, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? What a ridiculous question mm -hmm. by anybody else but Barbara Walters, and Katherine Hepburn didn't miss a beat. She said, an oak, a mighty oak, and I think Barbara Walters is an oak because yeah. basically her acorns are still out there flourishing and creating other trees, other oaks, other mighty oaks in this legendary career of broadcasting, and every history maker, uh, for everybody from Sadat and Begin to Nelson Mandela, and not afraid to ask those tough questions of all the U.S. presidents, yeah. you know, asking Barack Obama, why are you so unpopular? Asking yeah. President Bush, was it worth it? I mean, those are questions that she was not afraid to ask, and she always got those real answers, moving many celebrities mm. to tears because they felt very safe, very vulnerable in her, in her presence, mm. and we got gold, and she always delivered. She was truly the GOAT, yeah. truly. She left her mark on so many people and obviously inspired so many to continue. We'll always be remembered, Barbara Walters. Yes, we will.